Hello everybody, it is The Last Raider. I am back again with another video. And today, today, wow, here we go. Bill Cummings is putting out proof that he is calling police departments. He is still trying to find, desperately trying to find, um, Peter Samedi's docs. And he probably thinks that if he finds a police report, he won't actually be doxing. Technically, yeah, you will be because you're going to... Here's the thing. You can't prove this without doxing Peter Samedi, all right? Number one. Even if you call all the police departments in New Hampshire and put all the information out there except the one that Peter Samedi, that is in that Peter Samedi is in jurisdiction of, you're still going to be doxing him. Though it would probably be a softer doxing. Um... I think you're, like I've said before, I think your hope is that you're going to somehow get Peter Samedi to dox himself. Here's the problem, though. Okay? You've been told already not to do this. And you're, you're still getting places wrong. Peter Samedi, and I think Clint Stoker is involved with this as well. Uh, Clint is talking with, uh, he, he runs Sweetcast. And Clint has been talking, uh, actually got into my uh, DMs at one point in one of my videos and said uh, they got that you had gotten the wrong police department. Uh, let me tell you something, man. This, the, what's going on right now, I've seen this with lawyers. I've worked at lawyers' houses. When someone comes to them and says, I want to press charges, there is one thing that they say. I actually was in a lawyer's house one time, and he actually did this. He looked at the woman and he said, I understand that you're suffering. I understand that they're, they're causing problems because she was from a uh, mental health facility and they were deliberately using a cleaning product after being told multiple times in writing that the cleaning product was giving her uh, problems with her asthma. And as a state-run facility, they have to... That she was also told that it, she didn't have a handicap. Asthma has a handicap in the state of Missouri, all right? Uh, they were just... They didn't like her because of the way she voted. And so what ended up happening was she goes to her lawyer. I, I'm working outside, you know, doing some mudding on his, his property because he's got some water damage from a tree limb that hit his roof. What's he do inside? He says, well, miss, uh, here's what I want you to do. He said, you take this pen right here. You click it twice before you walk in and talk to him. And make sure that the little clip is on the front of your pocket. And then that will record with video and audio the conversation you have with your boss. And basically send her back in there so she could get more information on what was happening. So that when she went in there, she would have a larger court case. When she asked, well, why don't we file now? He said, because, you give, you can, because we don't have enough rope to hang everybody with. And that's what's going on right now. All right, Peter Samedi has sent you the police department. That's that right there. When the police department called you up, boom, red flag went off in the back of my head. I was like, that is Peter Samedi getting documentation that you are harassing. I'm willing to bet you're going to get another phone call from the police at some point in time, if you haven't gotten it already. And that phone call is recorded now. You've been told multiple times to stop. And you're not doing it. Peter is building a case. And the fact that Tug has an entire library of shit and he's talked about trying to get this stuff together. I am willing to bet money Peter Samedi already has a lawyer. Peter Samedi is building up a case. And by the time you... And don't believe me if you want to, but by the time the lawsuit hits... You will not be able to delete everything because it'll already be in a file for Peter Samedi to bring before the court. Now, after that, it ends one of two ways. Both of them's going to end your life as you know it. You're either going to jail or you're going to pay Peter Samedi through the nose. And we both know you probably, we, we both know jail is going to be the easiest one because you've had to end up selling comic books to make ends meet at some point. We both know from your prior tweets. And everyone knows that you've got hard financial problems. Now, let me tell you something, Phil. This is what I would do if I was you, okay? I would stop your bullshit on YouTube, put out some comic book-based videos, 
let this all fall, give Peter an apology for interfering with him, and that will kill Peter's entire case right there. He will not have anything to stand on in a courtroom if you fucking drop it. Don't listen to me and watch and learn. Like I said, I am will almost willing to bet money. Peter Samedi done had a lawyer ready to go up and he's fixing to come after you. Peter's got the cash to come after you. You and I both know this. Why you still haven't figured it, why you're still doing this nonsense, in my opinion, just reeks of desperation. You are desperate to get back on top. You're desperate to be recognized and be worth something again. You want to be famous. And that's why you're pushing this nonsense. I'm telling you, it's going to go down. One of th you got three ways this can go down. One of them you have control over. As of this moment, if you're so stupid, you won't take control of the situation and get out while you got the chance, while you have the chance before you get caught in the trap. I'm sorry, I have no sympathy for you, ladies and gentlemen. I am the last raider. Be sure to like, subscribe. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the bell for notification and give me a comment on what you think. As always, be safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video.